Hey, God bless you. Uh, hope you're doing well today. I'm coming to you on day two of blessing the bride. And I have a word and a blessing for you today from the Father. So the blessing today is going to be faith. I've learned a few things about faith over the past few years. I've learned that it's the key to unlocking anything of the kingdom. The things of God are unlocked by faith. One thing I hear from people sometimes and I don't say this as an indictment of anyone. Just as an encouraging word to those who might feel this way. But I hear from people sometimes that they don't feel like they hear from God or they don't feel him or see him move the way the way that I do, or maybe some others, some others do. But the thing is, God works differently in each person's life. And it has to do partly with the way that he structured each person. It has something to do, I think, with personality type and with the way the soul has been constructed each person has been made an individual and is a little different from everyone else and god has a way of working with each of those people the trick is to live a life of faith that God is speaking to you and working with you. And it might not be the same way that he speaks to me and works with me. But because you're a child and because you're in a relationship with him, he is. Sometimes the way he speaks to people is simply situational. He places you in situations in which he is controlling the environmental factors around you to teach you something or to move you in a certain direction. With some people, the way he speaks might be a little more pronounced. It might come with a sensation in the body or um, words in their mind. But our job is not to compare each other with each other. It's to rest in faith that God is working with each of us. So faith is really the key to understanding what God is saying in your life. And every power that flows from God begins with a step of faith. Different manifestations of the Holy Spirit in my life have come from a step of faith. When I first asked God if speaking in tongues was a real thing, he told me, begin to do it. And as I took that step of faith, tongues began to flow from my lips. When he was teaching me to heal I had to take the step of faith and to declare healing over people even when it was extremely uncomfortable. And it didn't happen every time. And it took a lot of growing and a lot of stepping out. But his power did follow. And over time, Healing became more consistent, but it all started with a step of faith. And when he wanted me to cast demons out of people, it began with 
faith that if I commanded the demons to go, they would have to go. And so he placed me in situations in which I needed to do that. And when I did it, his power followed. But I've noticed in my life that his power has never preceded a step of faith. He has always required faith. And then he responds. And so I have seen that his power and the things of the kingdom have been unlocked by one thing. And that is believing that he will do what he says he will do. And in the case of hearing from him, believing that he is speaking. Sometimes when I hear God speak, it comes as a very still, very small voice that could be confused for my own thoughts. But I have learned that as he and I are one, that his thoughts become my thoughts and my thoughts become his. And although his thoughts are much higher than mine, he works with me. In a way that I can understand. And as I step out in faith, speaking forth what I believe he's saying, he then confirms it in various ways. Now this word of faith that he wants me to speak over you today is also faith in something else. I had a very intense dream last night and I asked him to give me the word that he would have for you today that he would give give it to me in a dream. And so in the dream that I had last night, I saw that Nephilim had overtaken the earth, that they looked just like normal people, but that they were controlling the world, that the power structures, the political structures, the entertainment industries, everything had been taken over by these Nephilim. And they were closing in and were seeking to destroy God's children. And I woke up for the, from that dream and immediately I asked God, what is it that he is trying to say? And he said, faith. He said, faith that I will cleanse this earth. Faith that I will win this war. Faith that my judgments against these things are just. Faith that what I'm going to do is the best possible thing that could be done. So just as in the days of Noah, we are in a time where Nephilim are controlling this world where the world structure has been organized, created, and is being controlled by Satan through hybrids and fallen angels and demons. So we find ourselves in a sort of a, a matrix and God is about to bring judgment against the world and against the structure and he's about to destroy what they've built. And the gift and the blessing that he's giving us today is to have faith that what he's doing is perfect and right and good. So I speak a blessing of faith over you today. And I believe what God is saying is I give you a new faith to believe that I am who I say I am. To believe that I do what is right and good and perfect. To believe that I am working in your life. To believe that I am speaking to you. 
in the perfect way. In the way that you have been created to understand and know me. My hand is upon every one of my children. And I am giving you the faith to simply believe, like a child, that I am here, that I am good, and that you are mine. So receive this today. We thank you, Father. We love you. We rest in you with the faith of a child that you are who you say you are. That you do what you say you will do. We cling on to that thing in which we are counted righteous by, which is faith in you and what you've done. So we thank you, God, and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.